From the National Press Club in Washington, D.C., this is Rewind. This week, the Secretary of Health and Human Services promised the National Hispanic Council on Aging that the administration is dedicated to caring for seniors. That commitment starts with one key principle, a commitment to safeguarding Medicare's guaranteed benefits. Everyone should know, every senior and every younger person should know the benefits promised to them will be there when they retire, no matter what age they are today. One panelist assessed the impact of the Hispanic vote in the upcoming presidential election. I believe Latinos will elect this, the next president of the United States. George W. Bush would not have won 2000 if he hadn't carried Florida. He had the Hispanic majority vote there. We elect presidents as Latinos. What we need to do next is hold the presidency accountable to us. But another council panelist detailed efforts to suppress Hispanic voters. The head of the, of the Republican legislature in Pennsylvania, he actually said, going down the list of the things that they put in place to make sure that Mitt Romney wins Pennsylvania, he talked about voter ID laws. He said voter ID law will ensure that Mitt Romney wins Pennsylvania. Check. I mean, that to me says it all in a nutshell about this, the, the Republican effort across the country to suppress the minority vote. At a news conference, the Syrian expatriates organization drew intense focus to the horrific violence being committed against Syrian women. We are failing the women and men of Syria every single day that we do nothing. The Syrian government must be on notice that every rape is now a war crime. There must be and there will be accountability. Syrian society has broken down to a point that is beyond imagination. And as a Syrian woman, I can also say beyond recognition. We are witnessing uh, the destruction of a society and also the destruction of the psyche of this generation of Syrians and future generations to come. At a luncheon, the Secretary of Education addressed the shortcomings of the nation's school system. One of the big factors impeding our economic recovery is the lack of education. And that's why millions of jobs remain unfilled, even in a tough economy. Some 90 million adults in America have basic or below basic literacy skills. And a quarter of our children never complete high school. Duncan is displeased with the media's failure to highlight efforts being made to improve education. This is tough, tough work. And again, the media hasn't covered enough because people aren't yelling and screaming at each other. The media loves controversy. People are doing some really, really hard stuff that never happened before, and because they're doing it together, it doesn't get covered. Nuclear energy experts criticized complex regulations that block global growth in the industry. Regulations that impede our ability to operate these plants as safely as possible worldwide um, are both to the detriment of the United States and and the world nuclear market. The Natural Gas Supply Association shared their outlook of pressures on the price of natural gas. Production is very, very strong, and it's really due to the industry using technology advances and, uh, and best practice sharing. We're ready for the winter. We see no, no pressure either downward or upward. We're ready for, uh, for winter to come. From the National Press Club, where news happens, this is Rewind. I'm Ken Gillio.